Hi everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the newly launched on the website Axiology Lip to Lid Balmies. Now if you know nothing about the, these products, they have been around for a little while. I was actually familiar with them before we dropped them on the website, so it is safe to say I am quite the big fan of these. They are these amazing zero waste multi-use cream products that come in these adorable little sticks like this um, and you will notice that they are completely zero waste. So this cardboard package that they come in is recyclable and then there is just paper wrapped around the stick. So as you need more product, you just unwrap some of the paper and more of that product will be revealed. These actually are the exact same size as a regular lipstick tube, at least the standard size, which is 0.12 ounces. Um, they just are tubeless. So this is the exact same amount of product that you'll get in one of their lip crayons. It just looks tiny because it is again zero waste. So I love that about these. That is so incredibly unique. Now, they are meant to be used. They're called lip to lids. They're meant to be used on the cheeks, eyes, and the lips. And usually these sort of make me raise a bit of an eyebrow. Usually these type of products perform the best for one of those certain areas. What I'm very pleased to report with these is that it is not the case. And that's really, really a tough type of marriage. So these are creamy enough to allow blendability on the skin, but firm enough where you could take them with you on the go. These are amazing for travel, really easy to top up. They blend out like a dream with your fingers. I also went in here with a sponge today. I'll share with you um, a little bit more of that as well. But we have 14 different shades we're gonna discuss today. I do have them on my cheeks, eyes, and my lips today. That is it. And um, these are really, really cool and at a really amazing price point. So let's just talk about the packaging once more because you can buy these either individually or if you are interested in a multitude of different shades, they do come in trios, which is really fantastic as well and a bit of a saving. So we have 14 shades in total. When you buy them on their own, they come in this adorable little box like this, again, recycled. You just push it up here and this is sort of its little carrying case. You could throw this with you in the purse and this is how you'll be transporting your little lip to lid around. So those are $14. Now the trios look exactly the same, just like times three, um, a little bit larger here, and they uh, pull up the exact same way, and they are to be carried the exact same way. These are $24. So there's 14 shades total, and there are six different varieties of the trios. I'm going to be swatching everything individually here today, but I will link all of the individual trios as well as their corresponding shades down below so that you guys could check it out. That might be something really cool for you to do because you really can do everything with these. They have highlighting shades, they have blushing shades, they have a variety of different lip colors, and then again, um, a bunch of different shades that you could use on your eyes as well. So, um, before I jump in, I did want to mention, now is a great time to try these products if you were curious because we are offering a free champagne lip to lid balmy, which is the most perfect champagne tone highlight, really universally flattering, and that is yours free with any Axiology purchase. Just use the shade champagne, all right? So really, really cool little offer and a great way to sample that, uh, that color if you were interested in a variety of them as well. And then before I jump in, I did wanna mention some of the key ingredients in here that makes them very hydrating, nourishing, easy to wear, um, but again, not too creamy. So I would absolutely say these are suitable for all skin types. You will notice that I'm applying the blush. It's not sticky or tacky. It does take, a, they blend really effortlessly, but it does take a little bit of time, which I think speaks to the fact that they are not overly emollient and going to just brush right off the skin. So there's castor seed, sunflower seed, and hemp seed oils in here, as well as cocum butter. Um, so that is the majority of this, but they are really, really, really just minimal ingredients. I'm gonna have the full list for you down below. Skin nourishing, skin benefit ingredients in a beautiful little makeup product, which you know is my very favorite. So. We're gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna stop at the shades that I have on today and I will show you exactly how I have used them. So the first shade today here is Frosting. Frosting is going to be our most pale of these shimmers. This is a beautiful, 
pearly white shimmer. For those of you who have a very pale skin tone, you are going to absolutely love this. It has a really nice reflect on the skin without being overly shiny. And that's pretty safe to say for all of these. They're not really a metallic finish. It is more of a shimmery finish. Then we have the shade Champagne. This is the one you'll be getting free at checkout with any Axiology purchase while supplies last. And this is a sparkling nude shimmer. This is one that you're going to reach for every single day. It looks great in the inner corner. It looks great on the high points of the cheeks as well. Makes for a really great eyeshadow if you are into that type of thing. Good one and done product. I love it. Then we have the shade Caramel. I am actually wearing the shade Caramel today. Caramel is a sunset golden shimmer, but what I really like about it is that it is not overly rich in tone where like these type of tones on a more light complexion like myself sometimes just look too dark. This has a nice golden tone without being too dark. So that makes it more universally flattering because it doesn't sit on top of my skin. So I have this on today on the high points of my cheeks, on the tip of my nose and on the cupid's bow. Uh, I love this product because it's so easy to blend into the skin and you will notice it's a really subtle radiance but definitely noticeable my favorite thing to use these for though i think it's just because they have that little pointed shape it reminds me of the benefit brow pencil that used to have the matte and shimmery highlight on both ends so i just go right in with this right in the inner corner and right under the brow and you can really build this up to be a more intense finish but on my cheeks i blended it out a little bit more so this is beautiful that is the shade caramel Moving right along to the shade Chestnut. Chestnut's gonna be the deepest of our more highlight sort of colors. This is a copper bronze shimmer. And again, it's gonna look fantastic on someone with a deeper, more warm toned complexion. Now let's move on to some of the more semi-matte shades, some of the more pops of color here, shall we? We're starting on the lightest end of the spectrum with the shade Sorbet. Sorbet is a cool toned, very soft powder pink. It is that very classic 1960s type of color. This color does not suit me personally, unfortunately, but I do like that they've added it because I do know there's certain people who are diehards for this type of shade. And this is one in a really nice blendable formula. Then we have the shade Peach. Peach is one of my favorites. It is a really beautiful peachy pink with a golden sheen. So think you're sort of NARS orgasm type of colors. That is where my mind goes when I swatch this color. Good everyday shade on like a light to light to medium type of skin tone. Then we have the shade Clementine. Clementine is like Sorbet's peach tone sister. So it is a barely there soft peachy tone. I actually really gravitate to shades like this in the spring summer months. Um, it reminds me of the Keir Weiss Cream Blush in Angelic, which looks a little bit more deceiving in the pan and then you put it on and it actually looks really fresh and radiant and that is the case with Clementine as well. Then we have the shade Watermelon. Watermelon is going to be a fan favorite for sure because this is one that looks so good on the cheeks, eyes, and the lips. This is a lollipop sort of watermelon shade and this one does have a bit of shimmer to it as well. Not chunks of glitter, just a little bit more radiance and dewiness to your cheeks. So this one is a beautiful cheek option and I like this one most specifically for the lips. You know I like to blend out my lip colors quite a bit but this color looks really really flattering and like you have a nice blush. Then we have the shade Rosé and Rosé is absolutely one of my personal favorites. This is one that looks really good on eyes, lips, and cheeks. I think there's nothing easier than doing a sort of tonal type of look and this is a really great rosy mid-tone sort of pink. They describe it as a frosty rose. It does have a little bit more of a lightness to it. It's not the darkest shade in the world, but it's quite neutral and very, very flattering. Again, one of my favorite lip options. Then we have the shade Cinnamon. Cinnamon is beautiful. It is an amazing warm toned rosy copper. This is like more my type of speed as far as lip colors are concerned. You know I'm a little bit more subdued these days. I do have to say when it comes to lip colors, 
Uh, these, I do like to add a little bit of a balm. That is because one, I like to share them out, and two, I think it makes them a little bit more comfortable to wear because again, they have these really nourishing ingredients, but they're not ultra slippy and slidey, but they look really nice padded into the lips for more of that stain type of look as well. So definitely keep that in mind. Then we have the shade Nude Plum. Nude Plum is another beautiful shade, a little bit more of a rich tone. It is a soft, muted rose, but this does have a hint of plum. This is beautiful. This is such a pretty lip color. I cannot say enough good things. Amazing for blush as well, but my mind on my skin tone goes to lips for this sort of thing. Um, but this is one that works on a variety of skin tones. It's really, really pretty. Then we have the shade Raspberry. Raspberry is a nice, punchy, berry fuchsia. This looks to die for on someone with a more deep complexion, but again, a really fun, unconventional sort of eye color if that is what you choose to do with it. Then we have the shade Strawberry. Strawberry is one of my favorites. Strawberry is what I went in on my cheeks here today. It is this most beautiful, orangey red that they describe as the color of strawberry jam and that is exactly it so it's really youthful it's really flattering it's quite warm toned as well um, and I just went ahead and went directly on my cheeks took a little bit of my beauty sponge here as well as my fingers and blended that in the great thing that I love about this is that I love a reddish eye color. You know I like a lot of the warm tone shades from Ritual Defee. I love the Sappho eyeshadow in Victoria. If you like your warm tones, this one is amazing. And these make really good eye colors because one, you literally can just blend it out with your finger. Like seamless, beautiful blend, no worries at all, which makes it great for reapplication or makeup on the go a little day to night. But also they uh, go a really long while without creasing, which I really appreciate about this product. So I did just take again directly from the bullet straight on to my eyelids and just blended it out with my finger. If you want to use a brush to get a more diffused look or add maybe a deeper color in the crease and use this on the lid, you absolutely can do so. These blend very, very easy and seamlessly. So that's what I have today on my cheeks and on my eyes, just a one and done. And then I have the highlighter on there as well. Easy. I mean, it took me five minutes, seriously, the whole look. Then we have the shade Cherry. Cherry is going to be our final shade today, and it is the most amazing burnt sort of berry tone, but it has quite a bit of brown. And I actually went in with this on the lips today. You could see it didn't go in full on. If you did on someone with a deep complexion, this would look so amazing. It's almost like a really brown toned terracotta. It really pairs beautifully with that strawberry, just a nice deeper tone, and I wanted to add a little dimension to the look here. So I finished that all off on the lips today, but another great, great one and done shade for the eyes. But that is it, everyone. That is all 14 shades of the Axiology Lip to Lid Balmies. If this is the first you've heard of them, get excited. They are really, really cool. And I think for those of us who maybe are intimidated by an eyeshadow palette and doing a bunch of steps, or maybe we just don't have the time to do a bunch of steps, these will be your saving grace. And again, the perfect companion in the purse. And I seriously mean that, you guys. I would say it if I just like them on my eyes or if I just like them on my cheeks. They really took a lot of thought to make it so they are conducive to all. Um, if you have more dry lips like myself, apply a little bit of balm, then throw these on and you are good to go. A little hurrah lip balm is what I put on. Boom, right after and blended it out. And it's the lip color you see today. So these are fantastic. Zero waste. I mean, you do not see a lot of products like this at a really of uh, cost-effective price as well because we are not wasting all of that packaging. So that is it to everyone. If you want to shop any of these shades, I'm going to have swatch photos for you down below. I'll break it up into seven and seven, so make sure you check those photos out. Um, I will also list all of the trios that we have available, or you could just purchase these as a single if that works better for you. But please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe. I upload new videos here every single week, and I don't want you guys to miss them. Please let me know if there's anything else in the Axiology lineup that you absolutely must see swatches of. I would love to bring it to you. And then again, don't forget, use code CHAMPAGNE at checkout. You will get a free champagne lip to lid balmy with any Axiology purchase. I will include that down below, so you feel free to copy, paste, 
and you're good to go. But thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you found this helpful. I know seeing colors in real time is incredibly helpful and I love to bring it for you. So if there's anything else I can redo or film for you, I am very open to your criticisms and critiques and feedback. So I would love to know that down below. So thank you all so much again for watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.